Good. All right. Good. Cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know who wants to chat. All of you. One of you. A couple of you. But I would love to just to. Uh, okay. Round robin. Round yeah. robin. Yeah. Well, let's at least do that by uh, taking a minute for you guys to introduce yourselves and uh, uh, maybe one or a couple of you can tell us a little bit about how the band came together for anybody watching these videos who uh, might not be acquainted with all that. Okay. Well, um, I'm Zach Cross, and I play keyboards in the band, and uh, I live in Holyoke. And next. <laughs> <laughs> um, Killian, Killian Carlson, play guitar. We're called Mammal Dap. Yeah. Colin Jalbert, drums. Reed, Southern, bass. Hey. Nice. <clears throat> We're not used to doing this. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, don't, we don't sing for a reason. No, it's not. <laughs> well, tell us a little, just a little bit uh, about how, how the band formed and what uh, the kind of guiding. Uh, kind yeah, of well, we all played in uh, a bunch of different bands over the years. Uh, supporting different people, and we met in the in the area, um, and uh, we sort of ended up connecting via the singer songwriter scene. Funny enough, playing music for those folks, and then we played together in an operation that was Jamie Kent, and then we met this dude on the scene. He was playing with uh, Sun, Parade. Sun Parade at the time, yeah. and um, we jammed together. That was before he was in the band, but we just felt we had this instant chemistry, and we, I don't know how it really came about. It knowing. was just kind of like a, let's, hey, so it's free, like who's free today? Jam thing. The, yeah. first, the first gig, when we had our um, former bass player, the first gig that we ever did was like kind of just a jazz gig, because all of us had like uh, a yeah. decent amount of jazz education, and we like played That's just right. a random jazz gig together, like around Christmas time at a church. And then yeah. we just the felt sticks, like yeah. the musical chemistry was like good, and so we yeah. just were like, "Hey." Yeah, we 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 <laughs> learned quickly that we have a lot of same similar influences, a lot of the same ideas about music, and bonding over eggnog, eggnog, etc. Yeah. <laughs> it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> so when it really like sunk in, you're like, "Hey, we're a band now." Like, was was it clear from the outset what your sound was going to be, or at least what you wanted to? Push toward, or did you have to kind of explore that together before you? Uh, it's so, more, uh, yeah, it's morphed a lot yeah. over the years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How so? Um, Colin, did you want to? Yeah, start? it started pretty like uh, bonding on lots of like hip hop and neo soul and just all the different artists doing that stuff. And then we all found we like, you know, we love the singer songwriter realm and structured songs as well as jazz and improvisation. So we found a way to package those two worlds together. And um, electronic music has definitely morphed our sound a lot, as well as um, indie rock, including all the bands around here, huge inspiration. Just mm -hmm. picking, going to studio shows and just picking little things here and there. Like Suitcase Junk, and I'm probably gonna copy some of his drum stuff when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also don't really, like, yeah, we, it's, it's hard in, the, in a setting where we only play like one or two songs to get like a full, because we don't really, we don't always have solo sections. We'll have like pretty tight, like through composed songs that are just what they are without improv, and then we have ones that are improv. So we're not really jam. We're not really this. Yeah. Uh, so, but that that idea of like what he was saying, like song form is really important to us. Like song, yeah, more than like noodle uh, over overhead <laughs> and and solo section every song. But we are good at that, so we like to do that too. But I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's great. And you have a new, you are just put out a new album, right? Anybody want to say anything about how that came together, what that's all about? Want to take it, Reed? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Feel free to hold it. Literally. What's <laughs> <laughs> the new album? It's called Deep Feel. <laughs> um, you couldn't remember. Right? Uh, What's the process been like for that one? So this one was actually uh, recorded at um, my home studio, Barnhouse Recording uh, in Chicopee. Uh, and then uh, between me and this guy, we handled the mixing. Uh, Kind of arrangements, but it, it's kind of like a, we've, we've been finding ourselves in this lineup. I'm uh, about a year deep into the band at this point, um, uh, from their old bassist, um, Reese. So uh, it's been kind of finding a sound in between the four of us individually because the music is so rooted in little improv and song form. It's kind of like finding a new sound after the last lineup. So to me, that's what this album is, is kind of like Mutual. stating what it is, you know. New relationships. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The artwork's awesome. And that's, it out, is awesome. that's out now. This is out now. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, what are you guys thinking for a set? You might, uh, play uh, 
play a few to these. Yeah. 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 We were gonna we were gonna play three songs mm -hmm. yep. um, and start with one from the new album, and the track is called Starbirth. Well, the floor is yours, guys. Uh, if you want to talk in between, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If not, you can do whatever you want with this time. So. And, uh,